Okay, so in this video, uh, we're going to um, discuss and demonstrate myofascial release for the thoracoabdominal diaphragm. Um, our contacts here are going to be at the inferior margin of the ribcage. And they're going to be on either end. You want to make sure that your dominant eye is centered over the patient. And from this position, uh, you're going to make kind of firm but gentle contact on the uh, inferior margin of the ribs. And uh, you're going to induce uh, certain motions to test for fascial tension. You can test rotation. So rotation to the right, rotation to the left. And I find that my patient has a preference in rotation to the left. You could also induce translation. My patient has a preference of motion translation to the left. You could also induce uh, flexion try to induce some flexion of the cage or extension of the cage. So definitely she has a preference of motion and extension. Um, and then I would uh, couple all of those motions so that I could perform my myofascial release technique. So rotation to the left, translation to the left, and then extension. So once I've combined those different motions, I can Ask my patient to breathe normally. Good. And I'm holding in that position. And I am paying attention to tissue texture changes, uh, changes in tension, increased temperature or changes in temperature, um, and any pulsations indicating um, increased circulation to the area. Good. So towards the end there, there was a little bit extra, um, extra inhalation that kind of naturally happened uh, that coincided with um, the main tissue texture uh, change and release of tension. And now I can reassess the different motions and I do find some improvement in motion, especially in translation and rotation. And that completes my technique.